animal ghosts. Animals are some of the most beloved members of families units, but somehow, after the pets pass on, their spirits get neglected. Professional ghost hunters, when they are one of their many sojourns, rarely seek out these nimble ghosts, opting instead for the sexier shadow people, and poltergeists. Animal ghosts have been reported in many cases, yet they are overlooked. The infamous Bell Witch Hunting, which plagued the family of John William Bell, in the early 1800s, had reports of animal ghosts, such as phantom birds, and vanishing dogs. Again though, in the case of these hunting, the animal ghosts are just mere accessories, to the more heavyweight phantoms. Animal ghosts make their presence felt not just in manifestations, but also sound and smell. It is not unusual for a person experiencing a hunting, which includes animal ghosts to hear the pitter-patter of the invisible animal, or whimpering, panting, and scratching on the walls and doors. Crowd Demon Crowd demons are very strange anomalies. While demons seem to not be restricted or constrained by time and location, Crowd demons seem to specifically show up in places that are inhabited by large groups of people, hence the term crowd in their name. Why crowd demons are attracted to crowds, there are no concrete answers. Theories range from energy emanated by the specific location, or an attraction to the photographer, or bystander in the crowd. Standard apparitions may make singular appearances on film, but crowd demons tend to show up in numbers. When they do appear on film, crowd demons may take on various distorted shapes, some nearly unrecognizable to the human eye. Doppelganger The doppelganger is unique among other ghosts. The definition of this type of ghost is actually found in the name. Doppelganger is a German word for double-goer. This ghost type has the ability to project itself in more than one place, hence the meaning of its name. As far as is known, no other ghost type has this kind of ability. But the real unique quality of the doppelganger is that, the person it projects to others can still be alive. So it is entirely possible that a person can see their loved one, when they are not physically present. Another common scenario involving the doppelganger is a person seeing the image of someone close to them, only to find out later that, the person they saw died at the precise moment their image appeared. The mythos of the doppelganger is that, it precedes some kind of tragedy. American President Abraham Lincoln, claimed to have seen his own doppelganger in a mirror right before he was assassinated, and poet Percy Bysshe Shelley, saw his in a dream. No one knows for sure what a doppelganger really is. Theories persist, but indicative of the paranormal, there is no certified conclusion. Doppelgangers may be astral projections of live persons, or the actual spirit of the person, recently departed, and visiting those important in its life. Inanimate Ghosts At one time, Inanimate ghosts were all the rage in the ghost scene. The phantom ship, the Flying Dutchman, personifies what the inanimate ghost is all about. The Flying Dutchman terrorized sailors, on the high seas in the 17th century, so much so that, even gazing upon it meant almost certain doom for the voyage. The Flying Dutchman, apart from the most ardent of enthusiasts, and opera buffs, is largely forgotten in this day and age and no longer inspires the fear that it once did. Inanimate ghosts come in all forms, not just ships, they can be cars, trains, and even disembodied lamps. One thing that all inanimate ghosts have in common is routine, they all appear in the same time and place, traveling the same routes, the vehicle was taking right as the moment of disaster. These ghosts are frozen in time, repeating their final moments, over and over again without any hope of liberation from their perpetual cycle. Etheric Revenants We may have read stories or even seen shows, where people become weak and lose energy being in certain haunted places. 
This probably can be attributed to the presence of an etheric revenant. These types of ghosts are admittedly very rare. They possess qualities that would suggest that they are somewhat linked to non-earthly entities, such as demons, or beings from another dimension, as they have an appearance which is very similar to the more common shadow people ghost type. But unlike the shadow people, the etheric revenant primarily siphons energy away from many living being in the areas that they inhabit. Etheric revenants are considered highly dangerous, as they take a physical and emotional toll on its victims. But despite their highly dangerous position in the hierarchy of ghosts, you will hardly ever hear anyone, especially in mainstream media, speak of these creatures.